Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the talented artist, Camille Corot. Born in 1796 in France, Corot experienced a life full of exploration and inspiration, which greatly influenced his stunning works of art. During his youth, Corot studied both painting and music, showcasing his dedication to the arts from an early age. As he grew older, he embarked on numerous trips throughout Europe, immersing himself in the diverse landscapes and cultures. These journeys allowed him to observe the world with a keen eye, capturing the beauty of nature and human life in his works. One of his notable pieces, Seascape with Figures on Cliffs transports us to the breathtaking shores, where we can almost feel the salty breeze against our skin. The vibrant blue hues and delicate brush strokes invite us to stroll along the cliffs and gaze upon the figures enjoying the seaside. In Bacanti in a Landscape, Corot masterfully incorporates mythology into his art. We are transported to a tranquil landscape where a Bacanti, a devotee of Bacchus, revels in the serenity of nature. The scene exudes a sense of grace, with soft earth tones and delicate details. View of Lake Garda takes us to the serene Italian lake, where Corot captures the calm waters and surrounding mountains with delicate strokes. We can almost hear the gentle lapping of the waves against the shore as we immerse ourselves in this peaceful scene. In The Boatman of Mortifontaine, Corot portrays a riverside settlement, where a boatman stands ready to transport passengers across the water. Here, Corot captures the everyday life of the working class, infusing a sense of tranquility and nostalgia into the scenery. With fishermen moored at a bank, Corot brings us to a picturesque riverbank where a lone fisherman takes a moment of respite. The play of light and shadows enhances the peaceful atmosphere, creating a sense of harmony within the composition. The banks of the Seine at Conflans showcases Corot's mastery of capturing the beauty of the famous French river. The trees lining the riverbank are delicately rendered, as if whispering secrets to us as we walk alongside the flowing water. Corot's works are not just about the physical beauty of the world, but also about the human experience. In Young Woman at a Fountain, we witness a young lady, lost in thought, close to a serene fountain. Corot's attention to detail and soft colors create an intimate and contemplative atmosphere, allowing us to enter the young woman's world for a moment. In the Muse history, we are transported to the realm of mythology once again. Corot depicts the muse, the embodiment of poetry and history, in a dreamlike setting. The soft, ethereal tones create a sense of wonder and invite us to explore the poetic depths of our own imagination. Lastly, the ferryman captures a fleeting moment on a river, showcasing Corot's ability to depict movement and stillness simultaneously. The ferryman, rowing his boat, becomes a central figure in the composition, representing the passage of time and the journey of life itself. Through his life experiences and keen observation, Camille Corot gifted us with a collection of breathtaking paintings that not only capture the essence of the natural world but also evoke emotions and transport us to different times and places. We can see his love for nature, his appreciation for the simple joys of life, and his ability to infuse his art with a sense of quiet enchantment. So, let us take a moment to step into the world of Camille Corot and marvel at the beauty he has left behind for us to cherish.